Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Eric Yasir My official number is AUNM28113 And in this video I will explain about my material Which is hubungan antar budaya Dan kata-kata yang berkaitan dengan warna Oke okay. Revert to the discussion about linguistic relativity There are many phenomena that occur around us Who cause the language we've mastered Or that we are studying This is evidenced by the different perceptions or perceptions or reasoning against a particular vocabulary with certain meanings be interpreted differently by different people. Sapir-Horf already describes the linguistic relativity, where language differences cause differences of reasoning people using the language. Different language will affect the perception of difference against the color. Every language in the world has a different perception of color. The difference in naming this color system characteristics, characteristics differ in according to the typology of language. In English, the green and blue has obvious differences. They have their own vocabulary, green and blue. But there are some languages that have no difference between them. In the realm of linguistics, This term could be called grew, green and blue, because in some cases, they are as English speakers do not distinguish certain colors in the like spectrum and doesn't have a specific vocabulary to separate the particular colors. As another, another example, let's check out one of my favorite country, Japan. In the language of Japan, blue color called ao and aoi. But the color of the herbs and vegetables that are essentially green does also called ao, aka blue. <clears throat> It is similar with the green color in the traffic lights. In fact, the Japanese language has its own vocabulary for the color green, which is midori. <clears throat> Different from Japan, Indonesian language clearly distinguishes between green and blue. However memorable, Indonesia has hundreds or even thousands of regional language which has the distinction of the system respectively and thus become the first language, mother tongue, people of Indonesia. In Indonesia, the phenomenon of confusion to distinguish the green and blue is already common to happen around us. In some language, There are, there, there are also areas that don't differentiate between the colors green and blue. There are still, there are still many elders who don't distinguish between the two. Okay, so perception towards the taste of food, it turned out a little too much influenced by color. And not just color of the food itself but also the color of everything that is within the field of view of a person that participate and influenced, influenced them. Okay, I think enough from me. Thank you for watching. And I close by saying, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.